storytelling is the heart of filmmaking, and narrative films capture imaginations whether you're one or 101. It's a collaborative form of filmmaking that takes a lot of hard work and dedication. We got a lot of great narrative films this year, but there is a particular one we would like to recognize within a work. The best narrative award goes to Sleep Paralysis. I'm with Cass Fernandez Dieguez, the director of the narrative film winning award Sleep Paralysis at the Five College Film Festival. Um, so to start us off, where are you from? Um, I know you went to Holyoke. What did you study there? And since you're a grad, what are you up to nowadays? Um, so I'm from Miami, Florida, uh, which is currently where I'm at right now since uh, post-grad. I studied film studies at Mount Holyoke and I concentrated in video production um, and since graduating I've kind of been sort of in like hopping from like internship to internship trying to find you know like sort of a, a work balance where I can exist as sort of like a post-grad um, yeah. individual and also uh, find time for like creative um, stuff so yeah gotcha where are some of the places you've worked slash jobs you've done for your internships um so mainly down here what we have are uh some advertising agencies um i came back down to miami just because just for like you know in like the craziness of postgrad i was like i know i'm not gonna want to move you know yet to a bigger city where film is more prevalent um so right now it's been mainly advertising agencies and right now the one that i'm at um is an advertising agency called Republica Havas, and so we do a lot of uh, event production, um, we do some video production, and that's kind of where I'm at right now. So the your film Sleep Paralysis was set in a fictional town called Landro, but where did you guys actually film it? So, um, funny story about that is that about, I'd say maybe three-fourths of Sleep Paralysis was shot in random places on the Mount Holyoke campus, while the rest of it was shot in other places in South Hadley. Um, and the trick with shooting on the Mount Holyoke campus was, you know, one of the things I wanted was like, I didn't want people to be able to look at it and be like, oh, like I know where that was shot. So a lot of it was trying to find like these really hidden, like obscure places on campus where yeah. it would, you know, sort of be manipulated a little bit into seeming like a completely new location. Um, but yeah, no, most of it was shot in South Hadley. How long did it take for you to write and finish the screenplay for it? Um, so the original idea for the screenplay came up and was discussed in around like April of 2018. And then I didn't start writing it until like about like a month later. So like May and I wrote it from May to maybe like August or September. So that summer of 2018 going into like the very early fall was you know, all the time I spent drafting it and coming up with final revisions. How often do you have like rewrites and like redrafts? <laughs> like it felt like every other day towards yeah. the end, just yeah. because I, you know, I'd come up with a draft and then I'd send it to, to like my thesis advisor and like a few people, um, like some of my friends who had agreed to sort of like beta read it for me. And then they'd come back with edits and then I, I like if I if I just like looked in my computer for like sleep paralysis, there'd probably be like sleep paralysis one, two, three, four, yeah. five. Like there's just so many versions of it. Just endless drafts, yeah. 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 Okay. Um, how long did it take you to actually shoot it? Um, to shoot it, I'm trying to remember. We started shooting around uh, 
funnily enough, we started shooting towards the end of October, so around Halloween. Um, so for like spooky vibes. Um, <laughs> yeah, we definitely shot needed from, spooky vibes for some of the stuff going on there. Yeah, yeah, like that kind of like we wanted that sort of um, sense that there was like time passing, and so since we knew like you know fall like spooky, and then like towards the end it was snowing. Um, so we wanted that sense of like time had gone by. So we did the spookiness and we went for like end of October. And then I think we, if I remember correctly, we wrapped probably the week of Thanksgiving before everybody went home for break. Jane Rosenberg, who I'm sure you both have already met, only just became our president this year and already she's taken our club to new heights. Isn't that exciting? Get her in the bathroom real quick. I can take your bag. You're Detective Morales' kid, right? Yeah. What does he know? What? What do you know? Um... It's okay. We'll find out soon. Whenever you're ready. Have you ever experienced sleep paralysis? What? I, I said, said, whenever, whenever you're, you're ready. ready. The horror aspects of your short are, were very carefully put together and there were a lot of quick cuts and edits that were really effective. What were some of your inspirations for those, like, mo those more experimental moments? Mm -hmm. So some of the more exp experimental ones, like I think the one where um, it's Remy sort of like tripping out and she's like hallucinating in the high school. Um, that, I remember, kind of thinking of Black Swan, there's like a scene where like, they're like in the club and like Natalie Portman's just like having a moment yeah. and it's like, there's like all the lights and she's dancing and then like, if you freeze the frame, there's like certain things like changing in the surroundings. Um, that was one that I took for inspiration. Um, and then another that I took for inspiration was uh, the Babadook. Um, that was a lot of like the scenes especially like her nightmares that she has the main character are all very like you know like it's dark and she's very like isolated so that um was the inspiration for max you know making their discovery and then like being possessed and then the other scene where um it's remy and uh thelma having their little like weird chess match um that seems and then, great i love that one yeah yeah <laughs> thanks um and what was the other Oh, and Stranger Things. Stranger Things was also another one. So what sort of future projects do you have planned? Well, right now, it's sort of me trying to find the time to actually shoot them. So right now I have literally like a journal that's just filled with, you know, like random script ideas that I have. Um, probably right now, just, you know, some more short films, just sort of like, especially also the climate of South Florida is so different from... Massachusetts and that sort of like New England area that I notice some of these ideas have more of a like different vibe I guess than um the sleep paralysis for example just because I feel like South Florida is just like it's a I mean I live in Miami so it's a city it's very you know like dense and it's very loud um so I guess just trying to find how that influences my style and then from there choosing an idea and then seeing you know who I can who I can rope in from my life to to sort of help me put that together. I don't understand why you want me to do this. Remy's my friend. You've been compromised by the ritual. Thelma is the watcher behind the eyes. Your eyes now. What you know, she knows. And you can't know this. My other mom died when I was little. That journal is hers, actually. It's the only thing I've left of her. 